Hello and welcome back. Steel Openings here once again. And today I have for you something a little different. Today I am going to see if I can get on camera the last uh, Super C lock that I am trying to impression for Mr. Randy Perkins. And I've had these for quite a while now and they've been quite the hassle. Um, not very easily easily done. This is the one I had gotten from Mr. Tumblr. I had taken a, a Bell South key and uh, adjusted and cut it in spots so that with the top piece up, you see it there, you push it all the way in and it works. Great little lock and I got it perfect. So I was like, yeah, I can do this. And he was like, hey, can you do it on these? So I was like, you know, I'll, I'll do my best. And uh, on these, I had to find these keys. And these are um, all electric box keys, really. Um, and on these, I don't know if you see it very well. This one, it was easy as hell. All I had to do was grind it down, make it fit. Because uh, they were a lot bigger let me show you the, the original was a lot bigger and would not fit into the keyway at all so it really wasn't even a made key for it it's not like it's a blank but I managed to get that one in where you push it in all the way and it'll work as well so that was the first one I had impressed for Randy and I was like this is gonna be great no problem and then I've been working on this one for quite a little while and it hangs up still a little bit but it still works just fine now. Um, I had managed to get it going. Um, see it kind of wants to turn even not even all the way in. We get it all the way in and it'll turn. Before then it doesn't like to it kind of hangs up. There it goes. But you know, with most of them, you got to wiggle jiggle them. This one, as you can see, I had to cut into it pretty good in the spots. And all the way down it. Anyway, a lot of finagling to get it to work. But I got it to work, and now, as long as you push it in all the way, it works great. So, that's number two. And then, I was like, well, I got number three here. And... I can't use this key because it's got bidding in it that's just too dadgum wild. And it's nowhere near the same. As you can see on one side, it's near pop, popping up and down. It's not much to it at all. On this side, though, there was a lot of cutting that I had to do. And um, I managed to cut it back and thin it down enough to fit into the lock. But in that process, I took off... <laughs> The, the end stop. So I have used epoxy and made a new end stop for it. And it's still it's in the work of process. So I have my little uh, hand engraver pro and I thought well you know let's see if I can finish off the impressioning on this. Sorry, I have to get a good close look. Okay. Alright. And if you can see it, it's right there. Yeah, I know, I um, should only do it one little bit at a time, but I get impatient and then I never 
never finish. Ah, there it goes. We got a clean turn out of it, too. Yep, open. Perfection collection. Now we just got to figure out how to fine-tune it, right? Uh, put the bit back on it. See if, if you can look right down inside of here, it's kind of hard to see. But that's those little wafers poking up. And that's the chambers for them, but there's some, yep, on bottom as well. So, the one will pop up on top and two will pop out on bottom. And then two will pop out on top and one will pop out on bottom. And when the key goes in, they all suck inside of it, just like a wafer lock does. And then it turns back. Beautiful. So, it doesn't want to turn every time, though, does it? So, we've got to fine-tune it. Give a wiggle jiggle. There it does it. So it's the wiggle jiggle, huh? Wiggle jiggle. No, yeah, there it goes. Alright, well that tells me that it's likely that bottom piece right there. In between the two humps. Right here. <laughs> See if that helps it. Mine's a little better, huh? Okay. Down back here. Yeah, that was the opposite way, of course, right? <laughs> yeah, that one works. I can use it here to help scratch it a little bit. The only other way to get it perfect, besides the fine tuning, is to uh, take that out, pop off the back, and uh, you can see the the fins of the wafers then, and actually file the key to match it. And that would be a, a different, whole different type of impressioning, though. And that's what's giving me so much problem on this one, although I managed to get it open. So that's a, um, an impression success. It just needs fine-tuning. Um, if I can't get this one fine-tuned, because like I said, it's the one giving me all the hell, I will uh, simply swap it out and give you uh, my... 
uh, first one that I did it works great so I'll keep this one and give you that one and we'll call her square <laughs> now I have to call that a success because it did open as we can see we've impressed it so awesome job it was just the end of course I cut out lots and lots of hours and hours of cutting into that key and I knew it was close to the end and that's why I pulled out the camera I really do appreciate y'all let join me on it let me let me try and finish it out on camera y'all please stay safe and always stay legit if you like this video and like what I do here hit that like button and then of course if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button Till we meet again, peace.